Hi everyone, this is Winona from LCE 2010 section 14. Today, the topic that I'm going to talk about is students' attitudes towards stress reduction. Before I start to introduce my report, let me ask you a question first. Do you always feel stressed in your daily life or do you feel worried about having no suitable ways to reduce your stress? You might have your own answers in your mind. As for me, I'm such kind of person that will feel extremely stressed during my exam period in each term. And for the time without exams, I feel like, wow, love is so wonderful. And I doubt some of you may think the same as me. For those who have no ideas about how to deal with stress, no worry. Later, this presentation will show you the results of a survey looking into the students' attitudes towards stress reduction. And also, some feasible ways to handle stress will be recommended to you. Before moving on, let me introduce the general overview for today's presentation. First, I'm going to give you some background information about the topic of stress reduction and explain why the survey was done. Then, I'm going to tell you how the survey was done by showing the methodology for the study. After that, I will present some of the key findings from the survey and discuss what they mean. Next, I will make some recommendations to Lingnan University in order to assist students to manage the stress better. After this, I will comment on some areas where the study could have been improved and describe some limitations. Finally, I will conclude this talk by summing up what has been shown in this PowerPoint. So let's get started. And firstly, I would like to give you some information about the background. Based on the statistics provided by the American Institute of Stress, around 77% and 73% of American people experience stress, which impacted on their physical and mental health. More importantly, the situation has got even worse in recent years, according to the Global Organization for Stress, not only in America, but also in other countries in this world, including China. Similar increasing patterns are happening. In addition, it is also worth mentioning the serious effects resulting from stress. Apart from the mild symptoms, Apart from the mild symptoms, according to the South Louisiana Medical Associates, stress may also lead to severe heart disease, depression, and other illnesses. Therefore, it is significant for people to find correct ways to cope with stress and eliminate the negative effects on people's lives. Then focusing on the Lina University, a large proportion of students are now suffering from stress as a result of relationship among friends, exam grades, and a number of other factors. So it is necessary to conduct an investigation into students' attitudes towards stress reduction so that we may find out some feasible ways to deal with stress. Then let's take a look at the aim and the objectives of this study. The main aim was to investigate the attitudes of students in Linan University towards stress reduction. The research had four objectives, which were firstly, we want to analyze the behavior of students to, re to reduce stress. Next, to find out how much they know about the ways to deal with stress. Thirdly, to gather their opinions towards the the student counseling service provided by the Lingnan University. And finally, to find out what the university can do to help students to handle stress effectively. Let's move on to see how the survey was done and look at the research method. Firstly, the survey was conducted through the questionnaire. And instead of designing the questionnaire by ourselves, our course lecturer directed it off of us a questionnaire and it consisted of 20 questions in total. Also, in order to collect adequate sample information, 
different types of questions such as scale questions and multiple choice questions were included. In addition, aiming to allow comparison to work, four demographic questions were also set to gather information from the Lingnan University students. To facilitate data collection, the questionnaire was posted online and made available to students who had enrolled in LC 2010 through the online system and the university email. As only a specific group of students had ac access to the questionnaire, the sampling was strict to a certain degree. We have collected the data during the period from February 26 to March the 3rd in 2020, and a total number of 38 students have responded to the questionnaire, and half of them were female students. Then, the data collected from the online system was comprehensively analyzed by converting it into diverse charts for comparison and for the interpretation. After mentioning the methodology, I would like to draw attention to the results and discussion parts. As what I have mentioned before, the questionnaire measured three dimensions of the data, which, were, which are related to three of the survey objectives. These were behavior, knowledge, and the opinions. In the next section, I will present the key findings from these three dimensions, and after I present each key finding, I will discuss what they mean. Let's start by looking at the key features of the data from the question evaluating the behavior dimension. Students were asked to choose the ways they had utilized to reduce their stress from the given 14 choices, and they could choose more than one choice. According to the data collected, 172 responses in total were received, and half of them were from male respondents. According to the graph that you may see from the screen, we find that the most commonly used method for stress relief is the same for both genders, which is using mobile phone or computer, and it occupies 16.86 of the total responses, in which 8.72% of responses were from male students. For the second highest choice, which is sleeping, it is still the same between both genders. However, only 0.58% of responses from male respondents and 1.74% of responses from female respondents indicated that they would be willing to seek professional help. Overall, students in both genders share the same, uh, share the same top two methods to handle stress, while only a smaller amount of students would ask for professional help. The results indicate that, firstly, there may be no obvious difference between two genders in the main masses to deal with stress, which means gender is likely not a factor to affect students' choices to release their stress. For the choice of using mobile phone or computer, it reflects the position of the internet in students' minds to a certain degree, and it probably helps students to deal with stress by offering them spiritual comfort. As for the choice of sleeping, it may be resulted from the lack of sleep due to low sound insulation and heavy study workload, since people who lack sleep tend to feel more stressed. In addition, students Students may not consider stress is complicated to solve and think little of the serious effects brought by the stress since only 2.32% of responses indicated that they will be willing to ask help from the professionals. In view of the situation, students should be exposed to the advice of seeking professional help to a greater extent through the university's promotion. Then let's move on to the question evaluating the dimension of knowledge. Students were asked to choose from true and false based on their knowledge about some simple ways to relieve stress. 
and the correct answer for all questions were true. Here is the result. From an overview, from an overall view, the amount of respondents who selected true is far more than that of those who choose false, since the total length of red and blue line is far more than that of yellow and green line. For most questions, both genders had similar tendency to choose true, and the difference between the two genders is minor, as for most questions, the length of red line is quite similar to that of blue line. To be more specific, only 2.63% and 7.89% of responses to the question of exercise or sport and spend time with friends or family had the answer of force, while the other answers to these two questions were all correct. On average, the accuracy rate of each question can reach approximately 75%. Interestingly, no question was correctly answered by all female and male students. In general, most of the male and female students had already gained an elementary knowledge of methods to manage stress. Based on this results, we may conclude that Firstly, most Lingnan students are equipped with basic knowledge about stress since the accuracy rate of each question is up to 75% on average. However, since there is no question which was correctly answered by all respondents at the same time, this indicates a few Lingnan students may still have insufficient knowledge about stress. Considering the factor of gender, Female and male student respondents have a similar tendency to choose true, which gives expression to the tiny difference between two genders in fundamental knowledge related to stress. Therefore, the elementary knowledge about stress is supposed to be further enhanced, and students are advised to take more lectures to gain more knowledge about stress reduction. Then lastly, Eliciting the students' views towards the counseling service offered by Lingnan University, only 13.2% of respondents reported the experience of making good use of the counseling service, as were those who did not use the counseling service. About 36.2% of respondents preferred to deal with stress by themselves, which is slightly more than the amount of students who considered the counseling service is, was not useful at all. To account for the reason why students tend to not utilize the counseling service, we need to analyze it from the angle of students and the university respectively. For students, they probably have no faith in the counseling service and prefer to solve in a more independent manner. That is consistent with the nowadays situation that students may have grown up in an environment which encourages independence and the ability to solve problems by themselves. And they may also think that asking others for help is quite embarrassing. But for the university, this result shows the inadequate promotion about the stress and the counseling service around campus to a certain level. Next, in order to assist students to manage stress better, I will make two recommendations for the Lina University based on the results of the survey. Firstly, as responses have reflected that, students prefer to use mobile or computer and sleeping to handle stress, it may help if the university can set up a relaxation area which can only be used by appointment cons consisting of several separated rooms. Some of them will be aimed to offer quiet space with strong cell insulation so that students can relieve their stress by sleeping without being disturbed by others. The other rooms will be utilized for entertainment to relieve stress and some games, some game machines, video players, and venting devices will be placed inside. 
In addition, the second recommendation is to promote the university's counseling service and the knowledge about stress in a wider sense. Since only 13.2% of students have tried the service before, and 33.8% of students even do not consider counseling service will help. Also, as the average accuracy rate is about 75%, it reflects that some students may still have inadequate knowledge about stress. In view of this, lectures about stress and sharings about the counseling service from those who have tried service before can be organized to reach the aim of persuasive promotion and win the trust from students about the effectiveness of the service. As a result, the combined effects of these recommendations will offer great help to Lingnan University students in solving the stress and assist to enhance students' knowledge about the stress, which will further contribute to the utilization of the counseling service to a certain extent. Now I'm going to introduce two limitations of this survey, which are inadequate sample size and sample bias. In terms of the sample size, only 38 samples were collected to present the situation of the whole university. But the amount of students in Linan University is far more than the, the sample amount. As a result, the situation of the respondents may not be representative of all students in, on campus. In view of this limitation, a larger sample size should be reached in future studies by expanding the scope of data collection in a wider extent. For another limitation, which is sample buyers, students who had access to the questionnaire were concentrated among those who were taking the LCE 2010 course during the collection period. Also, the respondents were mainly in year two, but the, year, the students in Linan University covers from year one to year four. Therefore, the samples were not randomly selected and were biased to a certain degree. To improve the situation, the questionnaire is advised to be distributed to classes which are randomly selected in each study year so that more students in higher study years will also be included and reduce the level of sample buyers. Lastly, let's make a conclusion to summarize the key points in this presentation. At the beginning of this presentation, I have mentioned that more and more people in this world are now suffering from stress and stress may also lead to severe impacts to people's mental health and physical health as well. As for Lingnan students, some of them are also suffering from stress due to many factors. The results have shown us that students tend to solve stress by themselves by sleeping and using mobile or computer, which would provide them with sleep comp compensation and spiritual comfort. In view of the situation, the university is advised to set up a relaxation area for students to gain enough comfortable sleep and entertainment. What is more, a small amount of students were found to have not gained adequate basic knowledge and a large proportion of students chose not to utilize the counseling service due to the distrust to the service and the reliance on themselves. To improve this situation, the university is also recommended to expand the promotion around campus by organizing lectures to introduce more about stress and scheduling sharings to recommend the counseling service. Therefore, our survey aimed to investigate the attitudes of students in Linan University towards stress reduction. To be more specific, we aim to analyze the methods utilized by Linan students to reduce stress, to evaluate about students' knowledge concerning stress relief, 
also to elicit their views towards the campus counseling service, and lastly, to find out efficient ways for the university to assist students to manage stress. These aims and objectives have been largely achieved by collecting 38 responses to a questionnaire by distributing it through the online teaching system and the university email. Stress is common to everyone's life and learning how to effectively deal with stress will be beneficial not only to the efficiency of your university life, but also to your physical and mental health. We hope that with the assistance of this research, more students can manage stress better under the help of the university's facilities and services. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your listening.